Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Black Tub Bootlegs. Today's review, Flexible Soldier, Force Android, Super Robot. They're all just Gundam bootlegs, but they look kind of like Transformers, but they're actually Gundam characters. Why did they do that? Um, I'm actually not a Gundam fan. I know nothing about the series. I know nothing about the characters, so please forgive me. I just wanted to preface this video with that because, you know, I'm sure somebody is really into this stuff and knows way more than me, but I wanted to be sure to archive these characters because I know someone is interested in these. So if you have more stuff to add, just throw it down in the comments, um, but just roll with me here as I go through and try to go over the details of these things. So let's start out with Flexible Soldier. I actually found this one a few weeks ago, but it's a much older bootleg. Flexible Soldier is actually a really interesting name. I was trying to figure out why they did this, but once I saw the wings with the Decepticon logo, I realized it was just a bad translation. They're trying to make us think that this Gundam character is actually a Transformer. It's flexible in that it can become something else, something that it's not. This was the only one of these in the store, covered with dust and debris because no one had touched it in forever, so I won't be opening it. Sorry guys. So let's move on to Super Robot. This is a new bootleg that came out late last year, early this year. It comes with a ton of accessories. The back of the box just looks like a Photoshop disaster. They used everything on that. The figure itself has a very simple paint job, which works in its favor. Uh, it'd probably be even better if they just used one color for the figure instead of so many random colors. But when you look at it from far away, it really does look like one of the older Transformer figures with you know really bright colors from section to section. So let's take a look at Force Android. This is another one that I thought looked more like a Transformer initially. It's interesting that they were even so bold as to not put the third accessory in the box. They just ran out. They're like, whatever, we don't have any. Just don't put it in there. Just ship it. Ship it. The back of the card also shows the same character in black and white. Lists all the features of the characters on off switch, which doesn't work because there is no lamp light in the chest. Arbitrarily posture, arm swing a cooter. I think it just means arm accoutrements. Just call it accessories or just call it guns. It's, we're fine with that. It's okay. It, you don't have to be fancy about it. You can see the paint jobs for these are very simple. They're just using the plastic for the color and then boom, a little spray of silver and it's done. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these guys out of the package. You can see the super robot figure has writing on his wings, which really kind of knocks this one down a notch. Uh, maybe if you were over in Japan, you would think that English writing is amazing. You can see the bodies are exactly the same. The legs are exactly the same. Everything about these is exactly the same except for the heads. These have very primitive articulation. The plastic is very thin on all parts. Really, it's amazing that they're as strong as they are. The accessories for Super Robot are actually really nice. Granted, they're a little flimsy. They have a cool crossbow that lights up, a bazooka that lights up, his chest lights up. I love any light-up feature, especially when it's involved with just the accessory. It's not even tied into the character. Um, it's pretty fun. It's just too bad that the sculptures themselves aren't better. What is nice about the fact that some of these are based on each other is that you can swap out the parts. Overall, these are really colorful and fun. They'd probably look more cool with a different paint job, but whatever. Overall, for Gundam bootlegs, these are pretty crappy. They just don't feel as coherent as real Gundam characters. They feel weird and cheap, but that's what a bootleg is. Weird and cheap. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more Black Tub Bootlegs.